Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Islam and I'm the manager of the Girl Center. Today, I'll tell you more about the new and enhanced Adolescent Data Hub. The Adolescent Data Hub is a unique global portal to share and access data on adolescents and young people living in more than 100 low and middle income countries. The Adolescent Data Hub serves as an important resource to facilitate data sharing, transparency, and greater collaboration among researchers. Not only does it include publicly available data on adolescents and young people from multiple sources, but it also features the Population Council's rich and unique body of data. All different types of data are featured, including longitudinal and cross-sectional data, as well as observational and experimental data. In addition to national level data, the hub includes sub-regional data sources, which can be used to take a closer look at specific populations within a country. In order to be eligible for inclusion in the Adolescent Data Hub, the data must meet four main criteria. First, they must include individual level interviews with males or females aged 10 to 24 years. Second, the data must be relatively recent, so at least one or more rounds collected in the year 2000 or later. Third, the data must refer to low or middle income countries. Finally, the data must be publicly available. Now let's take a quick tour of the Adolescent Data Hub to explore all the different features. When you first arrive to the site, you will see a count of the total number of data sets we have across regions and countries. Below this, we have the data set of the month, which we use to highlight the latest data set. If you would like your data featured here, please email us at a 3 popcouncilorg If you're new to the Data Hub, we invite you to review our FAQ document as well as a brief that outlines the methodology behind creating the Data Hub by clicking on one of these links. One of the new features of the ADH is the addition of a user-friendly global map, which allows you to see the availability of datasets across countries and regions. Not only can you use this map to see where there are more or fewer publicly available datasets on adolescents, but you can also use this to narrow down your search. You can also use the search function on the right-hand side to narrow down your search results. To learn more about each dataset, click here. We've summarized some key features of each dataset, but if you would like to learn more, visit the study website. Lastly, in order to get access to the actual dataset, click here. This link takes you to the website where the data is housed. In some cases, you may have to request access there. Overall, the site currently includes links to over 700 datasets across 18 different topics. The Girl Center at the Population Council continues to add new datasets every month. If you have data that you would like to share via the Adolescent Data Hub, please complete this short form. If it meets our eligibility criteria, we will add it to the site. Please be sure to visit us regularly as we continue to add new datasets and features to the site. Thank you.